Okay guys, um, welcome back. Let's keep going here. Uh, I got chapter 37 and chapter 38. There are two problems there that I want, uh, forgive me, there's two chapters there, chapter 37 and chapter 38, a total of four problems. Let's look at chapter 37, problem number 56. It's saying a screen is located 6.75 meters from a spherical mirror. An image with height HI equals negative 4 0.0080 H0 or HO is to be formed on the screen. Should a concave or convex mirror be, be selected for this task? So it's ABC here, guys. Uh, let me just write, let me start writing a few things related to it, and we'll figure out what we're going to say. Okay. Um, The screen is located. The screen is located 6.75 meters from a spherical mirror. An image with a height hi is negative four times hO, and is for, is to be formed on the screen. A B C A. Should a concave or convex mirror be selected for this task? B. What is the focal length of the mirror that will accomplish this task? C. What should the object distance be in this case? Okay. Uh, we're going to do a lot. These are, this is the mirror equation, which is also going to be the lens equation uh, using lenses. So uh, mirrors are lenses, you're basically getting that equation. Uh, magnification is like this. I for image, O for object. Um, they are telling us that DI DI is 6.75 meters. HI equals negative 4 HO. Magnification, we have said, say it again, I guess, is negative 4, which is equal to negative DI over DO. So what does that mean? Well, DI and DO, so let's see what we got here. It's going to be the same. Multiply by negative 1. Multi, you know, take this right here and multiply by negative 1 on each side. And you get this, which implies that DI is equal to 4 DO. Put another way, uh, DO is DI over 4 is 6.75 divided by 4 is 1.6875. So, sorry, that was... Centimeter. I think they've given the, the distances here. Let's see what they had said here. Uh, did I say meters? It should have been. Well, okay. This could be. Let me just make sure. There's a little bit of a disparity here. Here's meters. Okay. I shouldn't have. Uh, shouldn't have done that. Should have. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Uh, we said the screen is this. 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 I am trying to think here, guys. Let me see here. The DO is not, that should not be centimeters. That should be meters. I was using meters to begin with. So please note that. Another typographical error or writing error on that one. So, but just, you know, be, be aware of that. You're going to assume you're looking at this stuff. So you see it, it's corrected right now. And yeah, it just doesn't make any sense the way whole thing set up that way. Put everything in as it should be. And so that's just a typo, you guys. You got 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI1 over F is 1 over the DO. There's a lot of mathematical games you can play on this, guys. I wish I had time to do it with you. Um, 
heck, we don't, the way things have happened, we don't have time to even get together face to face here, so let's do what we can. Um, this guy right here is the same as 6.75 over 4. That's that. Uh, 1 over F is, that stuff flips. And we got this. Okay, not bad. So I, I guess it's a little, little slick the way they can do it. Get the reciprocal of both. You're going to get the focal length. Uh, get the reciprocal of both. You got this. So just a fifth of this. Let's see what we got here. We got um, 1.35. Absolutely. There's the focal length. The positive focal length, and that will accomplish the task. Um, you want to get it on the screen, so the image distance and the object distance are identical. I'm sorry, identical in sign. Identical in sign. Um, so we have this right here. Uh, focal length is plus 1.35 meters. The kind of mirror that you want to do for that, well, let's get let's get to that. I mean that is that's that's a and the kind of mirror you want is you know if F equals a positive focal length. Right? Um, that implies concave mirror. Convex mirror is negative focal length. Concave mirror is positive focal length. So that's A. That's A for the whole thing. Concave mirror. Okay, uh, looking good, looking good. So we know that in summary, we got this. Uh, F, is, F is a positive 1.35 meters and positive focal length. It's a converging mirror. A converging mirror is a concave mirror. A diverging mirror is a convex mirror. It's a negative focal length. Uh, so they asked two questions here. Um, they asked what, what kind of mirror is it going to be. I said a concave mirror. That's A. And then B is also F is plus 1.35 meters. So we basically did A and B right here. That's that. Here's A. So A and B are right here in one fell swoop, so to speak. Um, see what else they're saying. Well, I guess we're answering every single question at once. What should the object distance be in this case? Uh, we answered that one oh, right here as well. And this should not have been centimeters. I don't know where the heck I put centimeters on there, but I did. It is meters, and that's going to be the object distance. The object distance is 1.6875 meters. For C, that's it. So it meters. I, I don't know why, I, I don't know how this took place. I mean, I don't know, perhaps I was just not correct. I mean, it's as simple as that. Uh, when they're talking about that kind of a ratio taking place, uh, it's not on the order of centimeters, it's on the order of meters. So that's, that should be just the way it is. All right, that was 56, you guys, uh, from chapter 37. From chapter 38, we got 30, 55, and 61. So let's take a quick look over that way. Um, Now here we're going to go, uh, going essentially to refraction and images formed by refraction. 
So we're talking about lenses and things of that nature. Uh, much of the mathematics holds up completely. Uh, what holds for mirrors also holds for lenses. So uh, that's very interesting in its own right. So let's see what we got here. And like I said, there's a number of problems there, guys. I'm just trying to, we are pressed for time like you're not able to believe right now. Uh, so let's see what we have. Okay, I'm trying to find something here that would work. Okay, very odd. Okay, but I, it, there's some stuff here, so we'll find out what's going on here. Let's look at problem number 30. Uh, a new material is being considered for encapsulating and protecting a sensitive electronic device. If light of wavelength 500 nanometers in air, index of refraction n equals 1.00029, usually that index of refraction, you guys, they just make it one. But we'll, we'll play the game the way they're asking us to play it. Has a wavelength of 240 nanometers when it enters the new medium. Um, it has a wavelength of 240 nanometers when it enters the new material. What is the index of refraction of the material? So, fascinating question here. The light of wavelength that much in air has a wavelength of that much when it enters uh, the new material. So it's, it has slowed down quite a bit. The frequency of oscillation of the light will not change regardless of where it enters. The wavelength of the light will change. So, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit. these guys are going to show up again, but this time it's going to be for lenses and refraction rather than for reflection. Reflection was what happened just now when we talked about the problem that we just finished. Now we're going to do refraction, so let's see what we got. So, for 38, problem 30, index of refraction, right? There's a lot of ways to go here. It's probably a lot easier uh, than what I'm going to make it as. Um, let me just pull out this just in case I do something careless. I don't think that I will. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, a lot of ways to look at it, I guess. You got to remember the index of refraction is at most one. Uh, the index of refraction for air, uh, you know, there's a lot you could say here. I guess uh, you know, the index refraction for air is just about one. For a vacuum, it is one. For air, it's not quite that. Um, I think it's that. Let me uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, point zero, 0, 1. 0.00029. Um, that's air. That's an index of fraction for air. Now let's talk in general, guys. The speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in the medium, that ratio will give you the index of refraction. It's about that simple. Now, um, you know, great, okay, so, you know, kind of so what on that one? Uh, you can say that there's a lot happening here. The, you know, we know that the speed of light, the speed of light is C. And, you know, speed of light is C, we'll kind of keep that in the back of our mind. We know that 
c is equal to lambda times f. Now, in, me, in the immediate sense, we're not really going to worry about this. c is the speed of light, and it's equal to all that. Tell you what, let's talk in a more general sense. Let, let's not talk about light specifically in a vacuum. Let's just talk about light moving anywhere. The frequency of the light wave, no matter where it is, is the same. It won't change. What will change is the wavelength of the light ray when it hits something and enters into another medium. Its wavelength can change, but not its frequency. What does that mean? That means a lot. If the frequency ain't changing, uh, you can say you know a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, is what you can say. Uh, you can talk about v in air, and that is the lambda in air times the frequency. V in the the medium, the new medium, we'll call it v sub nu, I guess you could say, v sub n, uh, is lambda in the new, I mean, I don't know, new, I can call it something, what else could I, it's hard to know what you call it, I mean, and, and we're not talking about an iteration of numbers, we're just talking about n, something new, uh, maybe do this, because n has such applications. The frequency is the same. So what's going on here? Well, n of air is C divided by V of air. And C in a vacuum divided by V of air. N new, new material, whatever it is, is going to be C divided by V new. I guess if I can find that, I can maybe, you know, if I find V nu, I'm set. Well, maybe I can. Um, maybe I can. If you take the ratio of V air V air divided by V nu has a wavelength of 240 nanometers when it enters the new material, what is the initial refraction of the new material? Uh, it's pretty big, pretty neat stuff. I mean, uh, the air, if, if you really watch your step here, the problem's already solved. The formalities are left to do, but the hard stuff is already done. This thing reduces, man, you can do a lot of stuff with this. I mean, I don't, you know, uh, I'm looking at this, you can, you can take a 10 out of, you know, you can 50 times 10, 24 times 10. Um, divide by two, divide by two, eh, stop right about there. It's no big deal either way. But, so we got V air over V nu, the speed in air compared to the speed in the new place, it's more than twice as fast in air. What's 20, you know, what's 500? What's 500 divided by 240? It's more than, the ratio is more than 2 to 1. So you got this. I think we're set. Uh, I think what you can do is, you can say, uh, play the, you can play this so many ways, it's unreal at this point. You can solve for V nu on each side. 
multiply by V nu on each side, and then multiply by 12 25ths on each side. So how do we do this? Let's do it one more time. Multiply by V nu on each side, and then multiply by 12 or 25 on each side. You get this. Uh, okay. This is kind of neat. Um, what you can do is V nu, we said is this. Or N nu rather is this. N C is C. V nu is actually equivalent to 12 25ths V air. is 25 over 12 C times V air, C over V air. So this guy, is uh, C over V air. That's N air. That'll solve it. How do you want to solve it? over 12, that's 2 point something, times 1.00029. So, we look at this, we do this, 2 point, two point something times this, it be a pretty big index of refraction when we do it. Um, so let's see what we got here. We got this. You know, it's going to be two point, two point something. Pretty big, pretty big index of refraction. I don't, you know, I don't see them too often like that. But two point zero eight four, somewhere in that ballpark. They give, they do a bunch of whole, a whole bunch of other stuff. They went one point zero 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 two nine two six for the index of refraction of. Uh, light in a vacuum. Uh, we, uh, uh, for the index of refraction of light in air rather, I'm sorry, 1.0002926 is the index of refraction of light in air. So 2.084. Again, I haven't, I, I kind of went right off the answer out of the key there, but this should be right. This is, there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, the, the answers are well within where they should be when you actually knock this out. This is two point something. This is what it is. They went a little further. They went in the answer key, they went 1.0002926. 1. Some people don't, don't even, don't even, don't even deal with the 1.00029. The two nines drop and make it one. But uh, that's, that's about where we're trying to go with that. That's number 30. Uh, let's go further. Uh, let's go to 55. 55, uh, here we go. We're talking about inches, uh, uh, lenses and images. Uh, problem number 55. An object is in front of a diverging lens with focal length negative 15.0 centimeters. The image seen has a magnification of 0 
A, how far is the object from the lens? B, if the object has a height of negative 10 centimeters because it points below the principal axis, it is inverted. What is the image height HI? Um, and then talk about that. Okay, so let's look at 55. see some of the stuff that we've talked about, um, at least a little bit, um, and, and let's, let's, you know, we said a lot of those equations we talked about last time were going to be as they are. So let's see exactly, and this is, okay, let's see what we can say here. You kind of take it from scratch here, guys. It's, it's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle sometimes. The magnification M is negative di over do equals hi over ho. Signs matter. They're telling us the magnification, in this particular instance, the magnification is telling us the focal length is this diverging lens we also know uh, from the past I guess you could say talking about mirrors we're going to talk about lenses the same way at least in our circumstances at least in our circumstances that we're encountering well let's talk a little bit I mean if they're if they're gonna say The magnification is HI over HO. Maybe there's something we can say beyond that. Why don't you solve for HI? Kind of give us some idea. MHO is this right here. What does that mean? Well, I mean, there's let's just to answer a bunch of questions, I guess. And if we answer a lot of questions, at, at some point we're going to answer the questions that they actually asked us to answer. Uh, we've got a magnification of 0.4. Okay, not much of a magnification, but there's the magnification for you. They're telling you that the object height was negative 10, six centimeters. You multiply that out, HI is negative, now we can use centimeters. I don't like we got into be about the centimeters earlier, but now we can do it. HI is this. Yeah, I mean, the, what can get us out of the woods to a large extent is also this. Magnification is also negative di over do. And that means if you multiply by negative 1 on each side and multiply by do, you got negative m do. Di is negative 0.4. Do. Well, I mean, that could be of interest. I mean, like I said, it's it's it solves a lot of the puzzle. Uh, let's come back. Let's write it again. We got this. They told us the focal length was negative 15. We're keeping all the same units now. Units are centimeters. That ain't a problem. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, DO is DO. Okay, I'm not saying anything too profound there. And DI is negative 0.4 DO. That was a big step. Right here, guys, that's a big step. When you're here, it's a big move. 
Because once we got once we got this guy talked about this way, we got one unknown. We've got one unknown. The rest is going to fall completely into place when we do this. So there's a lot that happens. I don't know. I, I kind of you saw you know, at at this point, guys. I don't want to get too. You know, I don't want you, you know, getting too worried about it. You get it to here, you solve the way you know how to solve. There's one equation right here in one unknown. It's called DO. DO is occurring in two places, but it's the same unknown. There's one equation and one unknown. You solve it the way you want to solve it. Period. That's the end of it. I'll tell you the way I would probably. Here's what I would do, but that's me, and it doesn't matter. You just solve it. From here, you know how to solve it. You know enough, you can solve it. This is one over DO. This right here is 4 over 10, 2 over 5. 2 over 5 flips over, and it's 5 over 2. It's negative 2.5 over DO. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. Just get it right. I'm not telling you how to solve these problems, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling you I hope enough. You see that right there? If you get to here, It's the big move that's got to be made, guys. It's the big move to be made. So we look at that. Let me get rid of this over here. All right, guys. Um, the rest is math. The rest is math. Uh, you can take this any way you want. Now, remember, we got, we're going to come back and get this guy. We're going to get what DL is, too. We're going to see where the image is. Um, we're going to see where the image is, and we're going to see where it's at. It's going to be a virtual image. Uh, it's going to be the other side of the, uh, of the mirror, so to speak. We got, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Just get this, and everything else falls into place. What do you say? Uh, there's, I guess there's a really easy way to do it. And you got a common denominator now. At the top, so you got negative 1.5 over d0 equals, equals negative 1 over 15. So you got negative 1.5 over d0. Add the right, add, you know, get combined terms on the right hand side. Kind of interesting in that regard, I guess. Uh, let's work. Uh, cross multiply, it should work pretty good. 15 times. 15 times 1.5 is 22.5. 15 times 1.5 is 22.5. 15 times negative 1.5 is negative 22.5. Negative 1 times d0 is negative 1 times d0. Divide the negative 1 on each side. d0 is 22.5. di is going to be negative 0. 0.4 times d0, it's going to be negative 0.4 times 22.5. Um, it's going to be negative 9, I think. Negative 9. I think we were using centimeters from the get-go on this. Let's just make sure that everything's on the mark on this. Uh, and that's di. That's di, and this, this is do. So let's see what we got. It's okay. There's do, there's di. Let's just let's make sure I didn't do anything careless with the math. It's all right. It looks like it's okay. Um, yeah, there's 22.5 centimeters and, and negative 9, 22.5 centimeters and negative 9 centimeters. Uh, B, uh, you know, so that's A. That was A. This, this, these two guys, that's A. B, we already answered it. I told you, if we answer enough questions up front, we got the whole thing answered. HI is equal to negative 4 centimeters. That is what the image height is going to be. And 
And I think that's it. Let me see where, where we went. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is inverted. What is the image height, HI? Yeah, negative four centimeters. So we kind of, you know, uh, we killed a whole bunch of birds with one stone, you guys. If you, if you take this stuff, if you go hard in the beginning, the rest of the stuff just comes out pretty good, I think. Comes out all right. So, got him. Got him. That's it. Then you want it's all there. That's it. That's it. Then this would be. Okay. That was 55. Let's go to 61. One. Let's take a look at it. Uh, page 1262. An object is in front of a converging lens with a focal length of 15 centimeters. The image seen has magnification of negative 2.50. How far is the object from the lens? That's A. B. If the object has a height of negative 10 centimeters because it points below the principal axis, it is inverted, what is the image height? HI. Um, okay. I mean, well, we got a. We're basically coming back to the bread and butter equation that we used in the past, you guys. Let's set this thing up. I, I see me not, if I'm smart, I see me not erasing too much here. Uh, so let's see what we, what we can do. All right, so we did 55. Let's go to 61 and see how it plays out. Again, guys, that we're, you know, you're looking at the thin, thin lens equation. You're looking at the magnification. What do we say when we talk about mag magnification? Well. We say this when we talk about magnification. We say this. Uh, one and the same. I mean, this right here, you can go further and keep deriving and get from there. You got this, thin lens equation. And uh, I mean, there's a lot there. There's a lot, and everything that we've said, or much of what we said, should be pretty useful uh, in this particular problem. So let's see what we got. Thank you. Um, all right, guys, it's, you know, usual thing, but at this point, we got this, it's going to help us out. These other guys are going to help us out a lot. We got very, very much of what we need right now. We got this, and this indeed is problem 61, okay? So for problem 61, they're asking a number of questions there, or at least just, possibly just two. Uh, let's see what they got. You know, how far is the object from the lens? And uh, you know, what is the image height HI? So how far, you know, what's DO and what's HI? And let's see what we can do. Well, I think they told us a number of things that, that are gonna help us out here, guys. And let's, let's see what's useful, what's not, I guess you could say. Um, from our prior conclusions. All these conclusions are going to be useful. We just got to, we just need to be very careful in our application of them, I think. So, <coughs> so we're looking at this. Um, let's see what we want to say. There's a lot there. Um, so this is true. That's true. This is true. So let's see what they got. They're telling us, uh, they're, they're giving us the magnification that was present. I think they're saying it's a magnification. For some reason, I'm just not remembering that magnification. So let me not be drawing too many conclusions here. But I think it's there. Yeah, they're saying it's negative 2.50 for a magnification. So we know this is true. Which means di equals negative. Uh, the magnification, guys, for the record is negative 2.50. They gave us that. Negative 2.5 is the magnification. All right, if that's the magnification, put the magnification there, put a negative in front here because I'm solving this. di equals negative m do. You got this right here times DO. D 
di equals negative m do. di equals negative m do. Sounds pretty good. Uh, negative, you know, basically negative of a negative, the opposite of a negative. Okay, I'm going to use that. You know it's useful. Let's take a look at what we got. They told us a bunch of stuff. They told us all this. Or at least we know that from, you know, we just know that. I mean, we've been told that it works. It works for the, the it works for the, the mirrors. It works for the lenses. There it is. We're using it. And what you got is one over f. Uh, they told us the focal length is positive 15. Don't know what do is, and don't know what di is, but I do know that di is 2.5 do. DI is 2.5 DO. This gets you out of the woods the last two problems. That's it. Once you get to here, everything's going to fall in line, you guys. Once you get to here, once you get to here with all this stuff, it's all going to fall in line. So what do we got? Uh, okay, you know, it's a little, you know, not, not exactly easy to look at, but let's see what we got. We got 1 over 20, 1 over 15. You got 1 over DO. And you got, you know, 1 over 2.5 times 1 over DO. 1 over 2.5 um, is going to be 1 divided by 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2.5 is 0.4. Let's just make the long story short. And you get to here. That's the that's a big move. You get to here, guys, and everything's going to fall in line. You got to solve this, and you're there. What are you going to do? You got a common denominator. Let's do what we have been doing. 1 over 15 is what it is. 1 over d0 plus 0.5 over d0 is 1.4 over d0. Sounds good to me. Cross multiply, do whatever you're going to do. Go by hook or crook on this thing and we'll see what we can get. Uh, comes out to about 210. So. Uh, uh, 20, I think it's going to come out to about 21 flat out uh, when we do this. Multiply 15 by 1.4, you got 21. 1 times d0 is d0. d0 equals 21, I think we were talking centimeters, so here we go. di is equal to 2.5 times d0. Right? And that is 52. There's D0 for you. D0 is 21 centimeters. DI is 52.5 centimeters. Make sure I did this right, guys. Uh, yeah, it's 52.5 centimeters. Okay, so far so good. And that's it. I mean, in, in a nutshell, that's it. That's it. Uh, B. Find out the height. HI equals M HO. Well, that one, you almost could have done that one first. There wasn't a whole lot being asked of you. They, they gave you the negative 10. They gave you that. The rest you multiply, and you got plus 25. Ladies and gentlemen, is it.
Uh, that's as much as I can say in, a, in, a, in a quite a formal sense about Physics 210. Be looking at all of the stuff. On occasion, I've made some typographical errors, some minor mathematical errors. I don't know what kind of mathematical errors are minor. An error is an error. So if I made a mistake, I made a mistake. So I tried to correct everything I got. I think we've done a lot of stuff in class before this uh, very bad situation has befallen uh, everybody, the planet it seems, and hopefully we're all going to do well. Okay, that's that's the that's the goal here. Okay, uh, all the best to you guys. Be double checking the work I got. Uh, again, I've corrected stuff numerous times in class. There've been a lot of people not there when I've done so, but. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, you, you weren't there. I'm not, I'm not judging anybody. But you, you're responsible for stuff that I cover, guys, and, and, and catch a lot. Basically, even a minor mistake like that, you've got to be able to think around it if I'm giving you a completely open book and open notes when we're doing this stuff. Okay? Guys, I wish you all the best. Okay? And uh, I'll see you guys soon, I'm sure. Okay, take care. Bye now.